We in Canada allegedly live in a civilized and enlightened society, but don't you dare get all preachy to those who apparently have a soft spot in their hearts for barbaric cultural practices because it turns out that even Conan has feelings too, you know. Oh joy, the Senate has approved a bill that would remove mention of barbaric cultural practices from a law that outlaws forced marriage. Liberal Senator Mobina Jaffer first introduced the bill in December 2015, shortly after the Liberals took power. Apparently, she had trouble with the Zero Tolerance for Barbaric Cultural Practices Act that the previous Harper Conservative government passed into law. Now, let's just come to a full stop right here. Who would take issue with proclaiming zero tolerance for acts of barbarism, acts ranging from female genital mutilation and honor killings to forced marriages? Should we have, I don't know, 50% tolerance for such acts, 80%? Or in the name of complete cultural sensitivity, 100% tolerance? Yeah, who are we to say what's right and wrong after all? Now, Jaffer clearly has a problem with the B word, as in B for barbarism, but if so, why so? We know there have been forced marriages in this country. Ditto for FGM, ditto for honor killings. Such barbarism no longer occupies the realm of the hypothetical. And I fear given the changing demographics, it's only going to get worse. As for sensitivity to other cultures, does it not boil down to this? If an individual doesn't want to be labeled as carrying out a barbaric cultural practice, then isn't the solution crystal clear? Namely, he or she should not embrace acts of barbarism. And yes, make this a condition when it comes to attaining the privilege that is Canadian citizenship. So then, what is Jaffer's unspoken strategy here? It should be noted that Jaffer has been lauded in the past by some for hitting that triple play when it comes to the diversity sweepstakes. As her bio proudly notes, she is the first Muslim senator, the first African-born senator, and the first senator of South Asian descent. But old cultural practices are apparently hard to kill. Indeed, in a speech introducing her bill, Jaffer said that the use of the term barbaric is actually insulting to cultures in Canada. Wow. However, there's at least one conservative senator, Salma Adeluahan, who regrettably agrees with Jaffer that barbaric is a problematic word. She had this to say in the Senate recently, quote, In my view, barbaric is incendiary and deeply harmful as it targets a cultural group as a whole rather than individuals who commit the specific acts, end quote. Yet, in the final analysis, which cultures find condemnation of barbaric pr practices problematic to use Jaffer's terminology. Is it perhaps members of those cultures that defend and or practice barbaric practices? Is this where we have descended to in terms of mind-numbing political correctness? The idea that it's now actually insensitive to call barbarism barbarism? For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Like what you just saw? Then click subscribe below and never miss another Rebel video.